Yo. Hey, man. What the world? What a little twin one. I'm gonna make you really mad on this one. So I got my clone. Uh huh. Yeah. Okay. Open it. Yeah, you already know. Two sprays. The fuck? Three. No, he did. That's all. That's all I need. Okay. This nigga crazy, man. Man, God help this child, man. No spray. I'm gonna kill this little motherfucker. I'm gonna kill him. No, I don't look at me like that after you just disrespecting me like that. What's up with what's what's up with that? What's up with all this? Like, you got a rash. That's right. You rub it in. So, you lagging so bad because you don't know how to overspray. Look at you. Look at that. You said what? More than. I can't hear you. The underspraying is affecting your data. There's no point in us even having a conversation. Can't even have a conversation with these 60 sprays. Look at this. This is terrible. But besides all that, hey man, what's good, y'all? I'm coming to another Change biggest video today. And before we get into today's video, I hope you guys are feeling good, looking good, smelling good. Another rise and grind day, you feel me? Tomorrow, we, we one day away from that golden Friday, you feel me? The week has been moving slow for me, though. Has it been moving slow for y'all, too? But hey man, if y'all haven't already, I posted on my community poll a little teaser on what's gonna happen at the end of this month. And um, let's just say I'm blessed enough to where I'm gonna get two fragrances, but I'm gonna leave the second one a mystery. So I want you guys to guess, what's the second fragrance I'm gonna get? I'm, I've been looking into some, what y'all think the second fragrance is? I'm gonna leave that a mystery. But um, yeah, the 26th is gonna be a day of reckoning. Like, but now for real, the day of 26th is just, it's just gonna represent where hard work can get you. Cause y'all can scroll down on my, 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 all my videos. I've been working hard, bro. And five months ago, I posted a video of just smelling them all elixir and just hoping one day I can afford it. Just loving the smell and just thinking that at the end of this month, I'm gonna get it. But not only can I afford it, I'm gonna buy two frames. Man, I thank y'all, bro. I really do thank y'all. But um, make sure y'all watch them ads because um, them shits ain't cheap. But yeah, like I said, I appreciate y'all again, bro. Y'all bringing me so far already. And we ain't even, we ain't even reached nowhere near the top yet. We just, we just breaking the cap off, you feel me? But by the time I'm done, you guys can tell I'm gonna be recommending you guys some of the best fragrances to blind buy. Now we all know blind buying, I don't really recommend it because I don't wanna be, I don't wanna be responsible for y'all wasting y'all money. Cause y'all know how much I value money on here, okay? Money, I, I I value wasted money and wasted time. Those are some of the worst things you, we can do in life, okay? And there's always better things you can spend your money on and there's always better things you can be spending your time doing. And I'd much rather me not recommend you guys no fragrance and you hate it and you wasted your money and your time but i feel like blind buying is one of the most exciting most nerve-wracking most retarded things that's ever existed because smell of vision hasn't been invented yet you can't smell what i smell like right now why would you trust what somebody says knowing that stuff smells different to everybody's noses just take your butt up to the mall and go smell it yourself i've done a lot of videos except this one and i feel like i avoided this one for a reason but i was like you know what as I've grown, you know what I'm saying, a little bit more experience, I want to tell you guys some of the fragrances that I think are the best to blind buy. Now, mind you, if you go on blind buy these, these are 100%, 100% under your rules. I'm not I'm not forcing you to. I ain't got a gun to your head, okay? I'm just saying. I'm just recommending. You feel me? But, hey, man, without further ado, I'm ready. I know y'all ready. Let's get straight into it. Let go. Okay, first up on the best fragrance to blind buy list has got to be Lamar Le Parfum. Now, I know a lot of you guys might be saying, oh, Lamar Elixir is better, Ultramar is better, oh, uh, Lamar ADT is better. First of all, for blind buying, they all are not. And okay, in my opinion, Lamar ADT, yes, good. Performance is 
dog, literally dog water. Ultra Mall would be cool, but it's like, what's the point since Op 9, 9 p.m. exists? Even though you guys know how much I love the Mall Elixir, I know how to some people it can just be a toxication of sweetness and it's just that's what i love about it but i know some people might not like that od sweetness you feel me so i feel like that might not be everybody's liking but lamar Le, Le love parfum has the perfect balance of everything you feel me that's why i feel like it was the goat until elixir stepped up but some people still have those debates between love parfum and elixir but you guys already know what's out of on. it's probably the safest most best to be honest one of the best because of the performance the smell the compliments the I was gonna say the performance again. That's how good it is. Oh, speaking of performance, although if you are going to test it, when I sprayed it on paper, I could not smell it. I did not smell it at all. So if you guys are testing on paper, just take, like I said, take papers with a grain of salt, test on skin. But compared to Elixir, the, uh, the toxic sweetness has calmed down and it's a little bit more fruitier. Boy, I'm like, what? But one memory I do have of Lamar Le Parfum was I had this history class. I hate that class, by the way. I hate history. I hate calculus. I hate math. I hate I hate school. But listen, I'm just chilling in um history class, right? Mind you, this dude comes and sit next to me. He pulls out Lamar Le Parfum, and I was so shocked because this man's mouth hygiene was terrible. Mind you, I'm sitting right here. He's sitting right here. He turns to talk to the teacher. I'm smelling just straight. Ugh. But he got Lamar Le Parfum. He's smelling good, though. But that breath. Oh, my God. But one thing that did show me the performance was that he said he would use it to cover up his weed smell. So if you guys don't know what that means, that means it's really strong. So, yeah, number one spot, Lamar Le Parfum. All right, for the second spot, we're coming at y'all with a great, great, great fragrance. But I feel like it's, it's really... It, I wouldn't say underrated, but it deserves more credit. And that is Versace Dylan Blue. Now, I honestly feel like Versace Dylan Blue is the GOAT because when you compare Versace Dylan Blue to Dior Sauvage and Blue de Chanel, and you look at the uh, Versace Dylan Blue price point, you realize Versace was on to something, bro. And I actually picked Versace Dylan Blue over putting Blue de Chanel and Dior Sauvage in the list because of the value for money. And in my opinion, you won't have to deal with that, you know what I'm saying, smelling like others, like Blue de Chanel. Everybody has Blue de Chanel and Dior Sauvage. You won't have to deal with all that confusion of smelling like each other. And a lot of people might say, oh, Versace Dylan Blue is popular. A lot of people have, not in my case, bro. I, I, I don't even think I've smelled anyone wearing Dylan Blue ever so in my case you have to deal with that smelling like other people nonsense it's a very clean fragrance that just is meant for a very clean person i like i love how the smell is just so balanced and relaxed i can almost compare it like the vibe to my javanchi gentleman intense edt like i love fragrances like that where just like the scent dna is so relaxed like other than something like versace arrows like in the opening or like dear savage like how they just be dickheads and just be out in the open Versace Dylan Blue is just very relaxed and calm. I remember one time me and my brother was going to church and we went to my granddad um a uh, bathroom and he had Versace Eros Dylan Blue and Versace Borom um, if I'm not mistaken. And I got Eros and he got Dylan Blue. Everybody told this man he smelled good, bro. Everybody, I'm talking about I'm not getting no compliments. I'm like, dang, am I what did I do wrong? But as everybody knows, everything can't be perfect, bro. Everything cannot be perfect. So the performance is not the best, but it is not the worst. It, is, it, it ain't in it the worst, trust me. There's been worse cases. But in my opinion, you're gonna get about, about four to six hours, you feel me? I know that's not enough for some people because I know some people spray in the morning and be out till literally night, nighttime, and you don't get back till nighttime. So if you solely rely on performance and being out all day, the third spot is for you. And the third spot is none other than Rasasi Hawass. Now I'm not gonna cap it down, bro. Rasasi Hawass is like, Everybody and their mama has it. But you gotta remember, everybody and their mama has Baccarat for a reason. Everybody and their mama has Dior Sauvage for a reason. Everybody and their mama has Blue Chanel for it's a reason, you feel me? But I remember yesterday, I feel like I just keep on telling y'all story times. But yesterday, my, um, my friend, he had to wear a suit for something, like a project he had to present in class. And I was talking to my female friend, and he came up, he dapped me up, and he walked past, and he was wearing her wasp with his suit. He walked past, she was like, damn, he smelled good. And don't get me wrong, I love my boy, but that kind of hurted me though. She ain't never told me I smell good. She's in every interview. She one of my dogs. Hey, if you watching this, shout out to you, even though she's probably not even watching this. But if you watching this, shout out to you, bro. I'm gonna post a clip of her right now. It was two to one, Dior Savage and Rosasi Hawass. What? 
What? Well, let's start off with one of the main reasons that I feel as though it's as popular as Baccarat and Dior Sauvage. And that's because number one, TikTok. Okay, let's not get that out. Let's get that out the way. TikTok. And two, because of the actual fragrance, okay? The fragrance itself smells fruity. It smells like a more fruity, aquatic Invictus, basically. That's just been mutated with performance drugs. Now, the smell is amazing, but don't get me wrong. At times, it can smell synthetic. But I still put it on a blind buy list because I feel like people who just, people who say that, they are just nitpicking, to be honest. Like, you, it only really smells synthetic when you just up close. Like when you up close like this, that's where it doesn't shine. Versus something, versus something like an intimate fragrance like um La Nuit de Lone. Like that fragrance shines when you up close. When you up close with Rosati Hawash, like breathing on somebody's neck, you, like you trying to get a hickey or something, that ain't gonna work, bro. It smells, I wouldn't say weird, but it just, it doesn't smell the best when you, you know. Now when you talking distance and we talking like this, yeah, you you gonna be smelling on my scent for real. Especially when they walk past, they just smell like a fresh aquatic like fruity breeze and that's when you really get the test of fragrance when you smell it on somebody else and I, when i tell you i smelled him like walking all the way up like what five feet away from me bro that performance that projection like i put that shit up against mike tyson nigga. so rasasi hawas is a great steal for me because of the price for value but yeah for the number third spot i'm going with rasasi hawas and for the fourth spot i'm coming to y'all with dolce and gabbana the one now i actually smelled the original the one edt today because my friend has it and when i tell you guys it's not much of a difference at all it's just the one edp is more like it's more darker but not like a bad dark it's still dark but it still smells like you know what i'm saying it still smells sexy but i didn't even know the dude had it until he just start pulling it out of his bag and just sprayed one two i'm like no wonder i don't smell it on this man he, didn't, he don't know that you gotta overspray the one so i had to put him on game right quick i told him bro you're gonna have to you're gonna have to, gonna have to load up man i'm gonna you know what I'm saying? That's that's my favorite part about this stuff. I get to teach y'all stuff, you feel me? Y'all get to teach me. It's just a learning community, you feel me? But I, yeah, I had to go ahead and put him on game real quick. Cause the one, the one EDT and the one EDP, yeah, you gotta you gotta go, you gotta go crazy, you gotta go stupid on that motherfucker. But I also did hear that Dolce Brown, the one EDT was LeBron James signature scent. But it could not help him out in the finals, cause boy, niggas say it's just a game of basketball. No, it's not, nigga. You dedicated 25 years of your life for this. You, you, you miss seeing your kids a lot of days because you played this game. Yeah, he's done for. But now I feel like Dolce Gabbana, the one EDT and EDP. Now that I smell both, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just say the one because they both smell the same to me. It's just the one EDT is more fresher. But when we talking about the one, all that performance junk, I talk about the first three ones. All that, all that junk out the window. All that performance talk out the window, my nigga. I suggest this for just calm evenings calm nights when when somebody's going to be up on you or you're going to like a calm dinner or something just for very 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 like calm situations because when it's time to turn up the heat it ain't ready for it but i remember when i first got the one and i was only spraying like four or five sprays and I'm, i was really thinking like bro am i doing something wrong like is something wrong with this bottle why am i not getting no compliments like i was really thinking that like i thought something was wrong with me but then I had to grow some balls and figure out what overspraying was. I don't know how LeBron rocks that as a daily, especially when people, when he's so tall, anybody gonna smell you, dog? Especially with something weak like that. But now I got a real question. Like when you 6'9", 6'10", do cologne even matter, bro? Do it even? Being a seven foot giant, seven feet above this earth, do this even matter? Bro, imagine somebody, bro, imagine Kevin Durant wearing Mancera Red Tobacco Intense. Oh my God intoxication but now i'm gonna keep it 100 with y'all the main reason i think Dolce one of the one edt and edp is the best blind by fragrance because i haven't smelled one person that disliked it i've i've had over like 40 50 people like walk around my house walk around family gatherings walk around. nobody has dig disliked it no one i haven't met one single person that said no, nah, it's too. Nah, i don't like it. it's too uh -huh. you know what i'm saying so when you smell something that good you know it gotta be great you feel me but it's just like, y'all couldn't throw a little bit of performance in there. I mean, y'all couldn't throw something in there, man. Y'all, come on, man. Come on, bro. But if you want to use it as a signature, go with the one EDT. But if you want to keep it for specific, like specifically intimate, go for the one EDP. It's deeper, darker, richer. All right, for the fifth and final spot, y'all already know we got to go out with a bang, bro. We're going out with a bang. Spice Bomb Extreme. Now, I low-key like to call this Vagina Bomb. But YouTube don't demonetize me. 
But now, other side, Spice Bomb Extreme is one of them ones, bro. I love Spice Bomb Extreme, especially the bottle. I love the grenade designs, bro. Like, I kinda, when I came up with a fragrance, I gotta have one of the hardest bottles. To the, from the bottle to the cap to under the, the, that whole fragrance line gonna be hard. I'm gonna have one for every entry. Cheap, middle, niche. I'm, bro, I can't wait till my brand come out. But in my case, when I smell Spice Bomb Extreme, I get like hints of chocolate, amber, woody, but it's very, it's how can i describe it like it's very like flat which i like about it but not the performance kind of like baccarat because you guys know how to scent a baccarat is soft but the performance is on a whole different level now even though spice bomb extreme is not on it's not on that baccarat level it's still it's, it's a spice bomb for a reason those whiffs you get and the performance last you a cool eight to ten hours I say you will have no problem with this fragrance, bro. In my opinion, this is a great fragrance for a single person looking for love. Or if you just wanna just, when you walk past the females, you just know you got their panties dropping. That's why instead of calling it a spice bomb, I call it a vagina bomb. But all right, y'all, that was it for today's YouTube video. Hope y'all are feeling good. And like I said, comment down below. What do y'all think the second fragrance I'm gonna buy? What do y'all think? What do y'all think is gonna be commented down below? I'm gonna catch you guys in the next video. Hope y'all enjoy the rest of y'all day. And they, yeah, I love y'all. Peace.